Hello and welcome to another video lecture from Mr. Watkins. This one is going to be on basic viral structure that pre-AP students need to know uh, to be successful in class. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, remember that a virus um, is not considered alive um, and is also really just a bunch of chemicals that are put together in such a way as that they can infect and then be reproduced by uh, cells. So let's kind of get um, some basic ideas here about viruses out of the way before we move on. So virus. Viruses, they don't have any cytoplasm. They don't have any ribosomes. They don't do uh, metabolic reactions like cellular respiration or photosynthesis or protein synthesis. Um, they don't require food. They are not heterotrophic. We don't describe them as autotrophic. Um, they don't release waste. They truly are um, just a bunch of chemicals, actually two major chemicals put together, and these two chemicals can't even reproduce themselves. They have to have the machinery of a cell, what we call a host cell, to do so. So let's look at their structure. Viruses are small. They're about 25 to about 900 nanometers. It's very small. They cannot be seen with a light microscope. We have to use an electron microscope to see these. Now, the virus parts that you need to know, there's going to be basically two types of viruses, but I'm going to give you the general piece first. The virus basically has this outer coat, and this outer coat is called the viral envelope. Okay, The next layer in, or the next piece in that we need to talk about, is this piece right here, and this piece is called the capsid. Now the capsid has um, a very special function. It's made out of protein. It basically encloses the nucleic acid, the DNA or RNA inside um, the virus. So its job really is um, to protect that uh, piece of information that's found on the inside here. Now in between the viral envelope and the um, capsid is an area that's called the matrix, uh, excuse me, the viral matrix. And that's this area here that I'm coloring in in brown. Okay, so this is the viral matrix. Hopefully you can read that. And the viral matrix is basically a group of proteins that connect this outer viral envelope to the capsid. Now the viral envelope has a very special function and that function for the viral envelope is to have proteins on it so that it can unlock, like a key unlocks a door, a cell so that it can get inside that cell and, do the in and get that cell infected so it can be replicated. Now inside the viral capsid, inside here in the very inside part, and I'll do this in orange, inside here is the nucleic acid. Now the nucleic acid could be either DNA or RNA. And the big thing here that you need to be aware of is that this piece, whether it's DNA or RNA, it's never, the, it's never both, it's either one or the other, this DNA is information. It's the information that makes all the other pieces of the virus. Now, we haven't talked about it yet, or we may have, depending upon what year this is, but the viral envelope, the capsid, and the viral matrix, these are all proteins. And that's one of the four major macromolecules that you need to know. The nucleic acid is one of the other four major macromolecules that you need to know. So a virus really is made out of a protein and a nucleic acid arranged in such a way as to cause an infection. Now there is one other viral type that we need to talk about real quick and that's called a bacteriophage. Let me see if I can grab a pen here. The bacteriophage or a phage virus is one that infects bacteria and it typically has this general hexagon shaped head and then has a little neck and then at the bottom of that neck there'll be this base plate and then attached to the base plate and the neck here will be long tail fibers. 
So we have the head here. We have long tail fibers. We have a base plate here at the bottom. And attached to that base plate are short tail fibers. Now, all of the structures I've drawn so far are made out of protein. And again, a virus is mostly protein that basically set up in such a way as to infect a cell so that that cell can then reproduce the uh, information on the nucleic acid. For a bacteriophage, the nucleic acid is found on the inside. Now, this head also sometimes may be called a capsid. It just depends upon the type of virus you're looking for. Again, it's a bacteriophage. Phage means um, to eat. So a bacteriophage is going to be a virus that eats bacteria or infects bacteria. These are the two common structures that you need to be aware of for any upcoming exam and for your STAR test. This is a very basic and very simple um, lecture and diagram describing these. There should be a lesson available for you as well as notes um, that you can download off of the internet here off of my website. Thank you for your attention.